G'day, g'day, g'day. G'day, mate. I'd personally like to thank you for volunteering. I hope you're a night owl because you'll be staying up from 12am to 6am for the next five days, which you already knew about. If not, we'll grab a cup of coffee and get to work. Let me fill you in on your task for the next five days. You simply need to make use of our security camera system to monitor the animatronic characters and make sure that they are functioning properly. At the end of the work period, give us reports on the activity. <laughs> Boring, right? Wrong. The animatronics have a night roaming mode enabled to make sure their servos don't lock up, which is a little bit buggy. As the nights progress, they may become more active. Now, I guess the first thing you notice is that uh, you have limited power. Fast Pan Entertainment has returned with a much smaller budget, so all of our buildings have limited power. It makes working with these animatronics quite difficult. Your office uses one third of power, which is constant, but isn't too bad. The camera system uses a third also. It's quite an old system, the images may glitch out at times when you're using the cameras. It's actually the same system, uh, cause, you know, smaller budget, had to save some money, so we just scavenged some old systems. And then the lights for the whole building use the last third of power. Your power will drain extremely quick when using all the lights, so use it sparingly. Now here's the part that might scare you. The animatronics can be very dangerous at night. I'll explain this in depth. 20 years ago, the animatronics Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy were retrofitted with a night mode which was buggy, along with facial recognition as a test. Someone had tampered with the facial recognition afterwards and it resulted in the death of an employee. No one's quite sure what animatronic killed the employee, but we kept four of them and trashed the rest in case we opened up one day. <clears throat> Some of those animatronics are here with you right now with the bug night mode. The bug night mode means that they will just simply roam around the building during the night and they'll most likely uh, pop up and visit you in your office. How exciting is that? Now the danger is them spotting you. If they look at you for long enough they will forcefully try to stuff you into an empty Freddy Fazbear suit. Why? Well they'll say it was a bare endoskeleton without a suit on so they will try to assist you with getting one on. Which wouldn't be so bad if the suits weren't filled with crossbeams and wires, so it's quite deadly. Less than the spring loss. <clears throat> to avoid this happening, there is a little console to your right. It is wired to the main generator outside. So, so using it will turn off all power on and off as you please. What you do is you turn the power off and let the animatronics head back towards the generator as it still produces some noise. But the animatronics could any office while they're moving, so don't worry if this happens, just make sure it's dark and keep still, let them walk past. You must turn the power back on once they are out of your office, because once the generator stops turning, the animatronics will learn to listen closer for faint sounds, such as breathing or body movements, because they, like if there's, if there's no noise somewhere, they will look for noise which will be in your office. It's, just quite, it's quite bad, so don't try sitting in the dark all night, you may regret it. Now, if you're feeling scared or skeptical about watching our animatronics, do not worry. All the happenings of Fast Game Fraser Entertainment are in the past. The animatronics responsible have pretty much all have been disposed of. I think. <clears throat> okay, so now you're all filled in. Keep an eye on the animatronics, conserve power, log all activity, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Good night, mate.
da da dum 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 Thank <laughs> you.